Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahavakak. But that's your name, where the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. Very few brothers and sisters listening and learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This is a quick lesson. This is something really, really to be mindful of. You know when you're talking, right? One may ask, well, can Satan hear what you're saying? Yes, he can. Can the devil hear what you're saying? Yes, he can. And there's a reason why I'm going into this. Just a few events that have happened, not recently, years ago but now it's all making sense right so example i just want to throw an example example if you're talking about if someone's knocked a, example if someone knocks on your door and you are having a conversation with them about a particular thing okay you wasn't even speaking loud right about a particular subject right and they leave and not even five minutes after <laughs> <laughs> like two, all right, five minutes after that same thing you were talking about, a letter gets posted through your door about that same thing you were talking about by a by a next door neighbor. That means that next door neighbor had to be what what do you call it eavesdropping on your conversation, right? So yeah, the devil does know because we know he works through vessels. And Lord Wing, I want to do more lessons concerning spiritual topics. Right? So that means what the devil eavesdrops on your conversation. Yes, he can hear what you're saying. So we have to be mindful what we're saying, what we're doing. Right? Because you have a lot of eavesdroppers. Anybody that's not in this truth, they're a potential agent of Satan. Let's go to Peter's. Baba Kasha. Right? This is first Peter's. Okay. And I'm saying this because this is something that happened years back. And it all makes sense. Go to First Peter's fight. A lot of stuff is going on. A lot of spiritual stuff is going on right now, right? You have individuals. You have people that are plotting secretly and scheming against you, secretly, right? And you have just going to deal with them, right? Let's go to First Peter's five and jump straight to verse five. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yeah, all of you. Hold on. No. Go straight to verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he care for you, you have a shy. Be sober. That means to be soberly minded. Be vigilant. And we also got to be vigilant in this truth. Go into this word vigilant. Alert, attentive, awake, careful, circumspect, eagle eyed observant, on watch, on guard, on your toes. Shut, wakeful, watchful. Okay, but we the difference is we do it on the right hand side, we do it in righteousness, we're not doing it in wickedness, we're not eavesdropping, we're not being nosy, right? We're being mindful, we're being vigilant. Why? Because we have enemies, we have adversaries, those that might smile in your face, those that might say, All right, mate, but really they have evil intentions, so we have to remain vigilant. Because your adversary, what's the adversary? An enemy. So we have those that are enemies to Yahweh Shai. And if they're enemies to Yahweh Shai, they're enemies to our soul. The devil, which is the deceiver, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So if the enemy, the devil, is walking about as in what a lion, roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. This starts in the spiritual realm first. When it plays out in the physical so again, be, ve be very mindful when you're speaking, right? Obviously, when we're on the highways and byways, we're speaking loud. But when you may have a conversation with people, you're on the phone. Keep it casual and just be mindful of what you're saying. Another example. And this is just experiences. It all makes sense. I even saw it back then, but it makes more sense back now. Example, you say you're an individual. You're living in a nice neighborhood. And you may say... Someone may say, I don't like, I don't like, I don't want anybody to build no flats around there. I don't want no flats. 
Now, now you've said that, say a, probably a month later, two months later, right? Um, we're building flats through here or somebody starts knocking. Are you all right with that? Are you all right if we build some flat? Bro, that's the fucking devil. Excuse my language. That's the devil. Bro, That's this is why you have to be circumspect. That's the devil, right? And six, five months later, flats get built because someone heard what you said. Someone had a bit of pulling power. Might be a demon. And they worked with that. So the devil also knows what you like and what you hate. Right? That's why you got it. That's why you gotta use wisdom. <laughs> right? And the, the only way the devil can do that is by using vessels. Right? Or cameras. Remember, he's a counterfeit. The devil is a counterfeit of the most high. Because we know the most high is all knowing. Right? But you have vessels that are being used. And I'm, I've used those two examples because these are things that I've seen and that have happened. Right? And the individual knocks on your door. Um, we're, we're, we're looking to build flats. Is that all right with you? Um, we're going to do a petition. Fucking demonic. Demonic. Right? Just, just be aware. Right? Just be circumspect. Okay? So the, the devil does listen in to Satan. He doesn't take no breaks. Satan is also an angel. Right? So when you're saying certain things, yeah, he carries that back to the Heavenly Father. Go to Revelations, Baba Kashar. And how do we know that? And the more opposition we get in this truth, the more you're supposed to push even more. The more opposition we get, the more we push. Don't stop. Right? They want you to stop. Right? Revelations 12 and 9. Actually, go to 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come the salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Right? So there's salvation, right? And the kingdom of our power, right? The elect represent the kingdom of heaven. And you have those here that represent the kingdom of darkness. Right? And they're fighting for the kingdom of darkness because they are dark. And the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused us then before our day. It's like a, which accused them before our power day and night. The scripture says it. So the devil is also an accuser. How is he able to do that? How is he able to accuse you day and night? That means in the spiritual realm, he's watching. He's heavy. Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. I want to do more lessons on um these particular topics. Right? The spiritual realm. That would mean he would have to be watching and see what you're doing. So yeah, we know Yahabashah is watching. Right? And you have the right hand side angels that are helping us. But you also have the angels over on the left hand side. And Satan and his children upon earth, okay, Esau, Edom, that also do his bidding, right? And watch us. Because it says the accuser of everything, which accuse them day and night before the most high. So this is what's happening. But there's good news. Verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. So the elect, they're going to overcome this world by the blood of the Lamb. Point blank period, no matter what you do. All right, you may be a construction worker. You may know a few people here and there. You may be able to get a few things done, sign a few partitions and so forth. But the scripture says the elect have already overcome the world by the blood of the lamb, right? So everything you've done, it was really feeble and it's just working against you. And by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death, right? Unto death, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. 1 verse 12. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. And this is talking about now, right? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the devils expect more um, kickback. The reason why you're going to get kickback, because guess what? The devil knows he has a short time. And that's why you're seeing a lot of things around you change, right? You're seeing a lot of things around you now it's changed why because that's that great wrath right whether it's people around you whether it's um whether it's your area right socially right engineering that's the devil coming down with great wrath right scheming but the main premise of this lesson is just to be very be mindful 
Because as much as you may speak, you may pray. Yeah, you have a short answers, but the devil is also listening in, right? Trying to gather intel, information, and doing all types of things, okay? Um, energy weapons, the whole lot. So with this, I hope this was edifying, and until the next time, shalom.